Von Willebrand factor is a glycoprotein that participates in both primary and secondary hemostasis. In our organism, we have two sources of von Willebrand factor. It's endothelial cells, where von Willebrand factor is contained inside the available palati bodies, and it's a major source of von Willebrand factor. And platelets, where von Willebrand factor is stored in alpha granules, and it's a minor source. To explain von Willebrand disease, we have to briefly recall the entire hemostasis. So, if damage to endothelial cell occurs, endothelium that was contained inside the endothelial cell will be released into the bloodstream and will cause transient vasoconstriction. After vasoconstriction, organism has to immediately cover and repair the damaged area. In order to do this, endothelial cells release from weighable palati bodies huge amount of von Willebrand factor. In the bloodstream, von Willebrand factor binds to subendothelial collagen under the disrupted endothelial cell. After that, platelets come to the site of injury and by the specific receptor GP1B, they bind to von Willebrand factor. And exactly this simple step called platelets adhesion. After the adhesion, platelets become activated. In response to this, they undergo shape change that results in their degranulation. With degranulation, platelets release the content inside them, including the dense granules that contain ADP. ADP that is released into the blood acts on ADP receptor on platelets and activate it. Activation of ADP receptor forces platelets to transport gp 2 b 3 receptor to the surface, where gp 2 b 3 serves as binding site for fibrinogen. In addition to this, platelets from prostaglandins by COX enzyme begin to produce thromboxane A2, and the function of thromboxane A2 is to promote aggregation. When fibrinogen notices a GP2B3 receptor on platelet surface, fibrinogen immediately binds to GP2B3, and when another platelet comes to the site of injury, platelet immediately binds by GP2B3 to fibrinogen, and this process is significantly accelerated by thromboxane A2. This binding occurs over and over again until platelet plaque will be formed, and exactly this gathering of platelets at the site of injury called aggregation, and aggregation results in formation of a platelet plaque. But platelet plaque is weak, and to stabilize it, to make it formidable, we have secondary hemostasis. The function of the secondary hemostasis is to make from weak platelet plaque a formidable structure that called thrombus, and the thing that makes this platelet plaque formidable is conversion of unstable fibrinogen into a stable fibrin. Secondary hemostasis is provided by coagulation factors that form coagulation cascade. The central factor of coagulation cascade is factor 10. The goal of both intrinsic and extrinsic coagulation pathways is to activate factor 10. Intrinsic pathway consists of factors from 12 to 8. Extrinsic pathway consists of just factor 7. Activation of factor 10 results in activation of factors 5, 2 and 1. Factor 2 called prothrombin that with activation becomes thrombin. And factor 1 called fibrinogen that with activation becomes fibrin. And exactly fibrin makes from platelet plaque a formidable thrombus. So secondary hemostasis converts platelet plaque into a thrombus. To assess the extrinsic pathway, we use prothrombin time and international normalized ratio. For assessment of intrinsic pathway, we use partial thromboplastin time. As we see, the major function of von Willebrand factor is to provide the platelet's adhesion in primary hemostasis. Von Willebrand factor helps platelet to bind to the site of injury. So basically, von Willebrand factor serves as linkage molecule between platelet and subendothelial collagen. But in terms of von Willebrand disease, we have to know the additional von Willebrand factor function. It turns out that von Willebrand factor participates also in secondary hemostasis. Von Willebrand factor serves as a carrier for factor VIII. Because factor VIII cannot exist in the circulation by itself, it requires a protein that can stabilize it. And this protein is von Willebrand factor. Von Willebrand disease can be generally divided into two subtypes. The first subtype is a condition when von Willebrand factor is not secreted properly. Thereby, the level of von Willebrand factor in the circulation become extremely low. This deficiency called quantitative deficiency and is caused by autosomal dominant mutation. 
it's the most common subtype of von Willebrand disease. Another possibility is that von Willebrand factor can be produced broken. So even with normal level of von Willebrand factor in the blood, it cannot provide any functions. By the way, von Willebrand disease is the most common inherited coagulation disorder, with an equal distribution between males and females. As we see, von Willebrand factor participates in both primary and secondary hemostasis. So, in case of von Willebrand disease, both types of hemostasis will be affected. In primary hemostasis, with deficiency of von Willebrand factor, platelet cannot bind to subendothelial collagen. So, platelet's adhesion becomes disrupted. Without platelet's adhesion, platelets cannot be activated. Without activation, they cannot release ADP into the circulation, and thereby they cannot force transportation of GP to B3 into the platelet surface. So fibrinogen cannot bind to platelets, as a result platelet plaque cannot be formed. So primary hemostasis becomes dysfunctional. And dysfunction of the primary hemostasis manifests with prolongation of the bleeding time. In secondary hemostasis, without von Willebrand factor, the level of factor A decreases, because von Willebrand factor is required for stabilization of the factor VIII and decrease in factor VIII disrupts the intrinsic coagulation pathway. Intrinsic pathway we assess by PTT. So dysfunction of the intrinsic coagulation pathway will manifest with prolongation of the partial thromboplastin time. But important that prothrombin time and international normalized ratio will remain normal, because von Willebrand factor and factor VIII do not affect extrinsic coagulation pathway at all. Also, we see that platelets count in von Willebrand disease will remain normal. There is nothing wrong with platelets. The reason why they are incapable to make a platelet plug is absence of von Willebrand factor. Platelets simply cannot bind to the site of injury. So von Willebrand disease manifests with prolongation of the bleeding time and partial thromboplastin time. At the same time, prothrombin time and international normalized ratio remains normal. Because the major function of von Willebrand factor is to provide adhesion, von Willebrand factor deficiency mostly disrupts primary hemostasis. And disruption of the primary hemostasis manifests with increased bleeding time, mucous membrane bleeding, primarily from GI tract. Also, it causes microhemorrhages that on skin manifest with petechia purpura chemosis. And also, frequently, they experience nose bleeding, so called epistaxis. The treatment of von Willebrand disease is desmopressin. Desmopressin is a synthetic analog of antidiuretic hormone. The mechanism is that desmopressin acts on vasopressin V2 receptor on endothelial cells. This causes increase in cyclic AMP, as a result it induces exocytosis of endothelial cells. First of all, it causes exocytosis of von Willebrand factor from Weibel palladi bodies, thereby correcting the level of von Willebrand factor in the blood. But also we have to know that endothelial cells inside them contain some amount of factor A. And in response to desmopressin, endothelial cells release into the blood some amount of factor A. So in primary hemostasis, desmopressin increases the amount of von Willebrand factor, thereby correcting adhesion. As a result, bleeding time normalizes. And in secondary hemostasis, desmopressin increases both factor A and von Willebrand factor, which is a carrier protein of factor VIII. So the level of factor VIII in the blood increase, thereby it corrects intrinsic coagulation pathway that results in normalization of PTT. If you like content, please press like and subscribe button. All the best!